Hi, this is Dr. Chris Greer with another bright idea from Bright Features Chiropractic. Let me tell you about Gracie. Gracie was five months old when I first got to meet her. Her parents brought her in because she had been suffering with ear infections monthly since she was born. Her parents had taken her to the pediatrician each time, and they had treated her with antibiotics for each infection, and one time they needed to go through two rounds also. Gracie wasn't well when I first got to meet her at all. In fact, she was only sleeping three to four hours a night total. Now. This is an unfortunately common scenario that I get to hear about. In fact, 62% of children by the age of 1, 80% by the age of 3, and nearly 100% by the age of 5 are going to experience ear infections. This is a vast problem that we have in the United States. What happens then is the children suffer, they need to miss school, parents need to miss work to take care of the issue, and the treatment is antibiotics that lead up to eventually tube surgery. Tube surgery is now the most common ambulatory surgery in the United States and unfortunately none of these things are addressing the cause. Here's the cause of ear infection. The reality is that the eustachian canal is designed to drain the fluid from the middle ear down into the throat. This is the eardrum when doctors look at the eardrum, they're looking to see what the condition of the inner ear, the middle ear, is so that they can get an idea of if there's infection or if it's functioning normally. Now, what causes ear infection is when the eustachian canal gets constricted by inflammation and nervous system dysfunction. Inflammation can be caused by a number of things from what we eat to if we have a cold to if the child is teething. Nervous system dysfunction, oftentimes from the vertebrae in the upper neck, right below the base of the skull, causes eustachian canal dysfunction because the muscles that control the opening and closing of the eustachian canal are controlled by those nerves. Now, why aren't we treating it like this? Well, the reality is most parents don't know that the cause of ear infections are inflammation and nervous system dysfunction. In fact, most medical doctors don't know that or aren't aware of that either. The medical doctors are often thought to know best, we're taught to trust them, and I think that we should ultimately, but we also need to know that nobody knows everything. And oftentimes we think as parents, and the medical doctors think because it's the protocol, that antibiotics are the only option for ear infections outside of watch and wait. Now, many times parents aren't aware that approach like wellness chiropractic could be beneficial to their children. And that's another big reason why we're not actually treating the cause that's, that's leading to these ear infections. So what can we do about this? There's a few things, certainly. If we start treating it like we always have, we keep treating it like we always have, we ought to expect the same exact results that we've always had huge numbers of ear infections, huge numbers of antibiotic prescriptions, and huge number of tube surgeries. However, if we approach it differently, if we say what's actually the cause and who can help with that, then we can have a whole change in the experience that, that we have. And that's exactly what happened with Gracie. Gracie now is four years old. She's vibrant, she's robust, she's active. In fact, her mom described her today as, oh, she's all that and even more. Gracie has had the opportunity for her health to be expressed fully because of the approach of chiropractic care over that time period from when she was five months old to today and she's a, she's a healthy four-year-old. That's the experience that people can have and that's the sort of thing that I always offer complimentary consultations to talk with parents, to talk with people, to see if this sort of an approach is the right approach for them and for their families. That's our bright idea from Bright Futures Chiropractic today. Go be well.